I have been performing penile implants since 1988 and have performed over 8,000 penile implants. 2006, I invented the no-touch technique that allows the surgeon to introduce the implant into the body without touching the skin. We have achieved a, a very low infection rate by this technique. We have performed now over 4,300 consecutive implants with the no-touch technique with an infection rate of less than half a percent. It's important to realize that when an implant becomes infected, it's because it's contaminated with skin bacteria most of the time, and it needs to be completely removed. This requires hospitalization and also a procedure either to salvage the penis by putting in a manual implant or complete removal of the, or the infection is advanced. The infections usually manifest themselves between the second and fourth week of, uh, after the implant is introduced. By using the no-touch technique, it enabled us to predict whether or not a patient will become infected. We've noticed that uh, there are three risk factors. Number one, patients where the dilation of the penis was extremely difficult. Number two, when the surgery is greater than two hours. And number three, patients who are at risk of bleeding. If there is a collection of blood around the pump in the scrotum at 37 degrees body temperature, it's like a microbiology uh, lab. Uh, by knowing the risks, we can now make a judgment during the surgery to mitigate uh, the risk of infection even further.